Hello and welcome to the Superpower Dare team. I'm Peter. And I'm Rick. And today we're going to have a look at the 49 most um, anticipated movies of 2023. We've got this list thanks to Time Magazine. Give them a bit of a plug. I think we're stealing their uh, content. Um, and I'm going to say from the outset that um, I'm not looking forward to a lot. I haven't looked at this list yet or anything like that, but just being aware of what's coming out, I I could be grumpy old manning through this whole thing. Um, I'm hoping this may change my mind. So I think it will also be a bit different this year because we may have actually seen some of the, the trailers and things. That, yeah. Like we've been doing the um, trailer reactions yep. last year, and so we might have actually seen a bit for some of them. So I guess, yeah. We might I, have I a guess bit a, more idea. A lot, a lot of content's been sort of not big screen content. I'd be interested to see how much of this is going on to the big screen or straight to to um to netflix or streaming so we'll see anyway uh before we start as always if you enjoy what we're doing please like and subscribe below so that we can keep doing it because we're trying for cross auto and that's not working for us we need you people and if you've got any suggestions for any trailers or videos that you'd like us to react to or movies that you'd like us to review please put them in the comments below yep all right so shall we get through this list we will 49 seems like a lot so first one comes out january 6 and it's called me thregan m thregan or megan M thregan is it to do with harry and megan no we we've seen the trailer for this one and we thought it looked yeah. quite interesting it's got a very creepy ai um robot mm -hmm. and it looks like it could be like a chucky movie or or one of those well, just something where ai goes wrong like products two, gone wrong type thing yeah Terminator. so i think we both thought we'd like to check this one out and we did get quite a bit of interest in our uh, trailer reaction to it too so yeah. i think it might be quite popular it says here so like if we read the synopsis which is about a toy maker um gemma creates a high functioning lifelike doll named megan whose name stands for Model 3 Generative Android to protect her grieving niece from emotional and physical harm. So that's the setup for it. And you can just guess that the the AI thing, Android, may take its job a bit too seriously. May, you know, may... Well, I think it goes into full protection mode. Yeah, and horror, horror in shoes. So whoever gets in the way of the girl... I think yep. might come to some harm. Yep. All right. All right, let's move on. So we're going to say, yes, we'll have a look at Megan. All right, Megan followed up on January 7th, 27th by Shotgun Wedding. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, no. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, um, it looks like a romantic comedy. It's going to Amazon Prime Video. It's not my favourite genre. Not to say that there aren't good romantic comedies, but I can't say I've seen one for a long time, but I can't really say I've seen one because I haven't been watching them for a long time. But uh, I'm not interested yeah. in that. No. Nope. On the same day, we have um, Infinity Pool being released. Now, this is directed by the son of David Cronenberg and, according to the blurb here, proving he's a chip off the old block, a sci-fi creep show. Uh, a remote island where punishment for any crime is death. Alexander Skarsgård's in it, so he yeah. finds himself facing execution. He can save himself by creating a bodily double that be, will be killed in his place. What could go wrong? What could go wrong. Yeah, I All don't right. know. Like, I'd, I'd have to see a trailer for that. Yeah, I'm um, not. I'm not huge on horror, and I'm not huge on David Cronenberg films. Yeah. I haven't seen it a lot, but. I do like horror, and I have enjoyed some David Cronenberg um, films. Oh, right, that's that's on a wait and see list for me. I haven't I haven't seen that trailer come up, so yeah. I, I don't. I'm surprised that it's coming out so early in the year. Okay, then we move into February. We knock at the cabin. Knock at the cabin uh, is released, and this is a M Night Shyamalan movie. Yes, Who's it is. I think he's. I think he's had a bit of a resurgence lately after some really disappointing efforts. 
but I haven't watched anything from him for a while. I think my last yeah, it was one for a, like for a little while. It was they were a bit dismissed, but then I think he came back a bit with was it Split? Oh yeah, I think Split did it. Yeah, but, but even I the, third, the third one in that series bombed. I don't know. The last one was about old people on a beach. I ne- I didn't see that one. But this one looked interesting in the trailer. Um, it's got yeah. Dave Batista in it, who's like really. I think he's he might be the most the successful Arnold. wrestler turn actor of all time. Perhaps he's not just sticking to one like genre. He's doing different uh, things. No, come on, come on. He's not more successful than The Rock. Oh yeah, probably. Okay, it's for, but yeah, I don't even think of The Rock as a wrestler because I never really knew he yeah. was a wrestler. So. But Dave Batista does different things. The Rock plays the Rock in everything, whereas Dave yeah. Batista tries to do different yeah. roles in different genres. So anyway, he so this is, he wants to be yeah. an actor. So this one is about um, two dads and their young daughter, contemporary, visited by a group of doomsdayers, led by uh, or Dave's a doomsdayer in this one. He is he is trying to get himself around, isn't he? And from the they trailer, we saw one of the other doomsdayers is uh, Ron Weasley. Oh, that's right, too, yeah. But they claim they've been sent to prevent the apocalypse. So um, in order to save the world, the dads are asked to make the ultimate sacrifice, which I think is a really interesting premise, and particularly when it's this one's been coined as a paranoid thriller. So I like that sort of stuff where you're never quite sure um, what's going on. It looks like it's so, based off a novel too, Cabin at the End of the World. So yeah. that can be a good thing for movies. Like there's that yeah. might be, there would be a fleshed out story, but it and doesn't it says, always translate, does it? Uh, but it's not an M. Night written story, so it could be good that he's taking yeah. someone else's material and putting maybe his spin on it. I don't know. Who knows? Still sticking in February, we're looking at 80 for Brady. I thought this was a Brady Bunch Brady. movie. Yeah. I thought, oh my God, they're doing the Brady Bunch in their octogenarian years. But no, it's about four octogenarian friends played by Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, Rita Marino, and Sally Field. And there's in the photo that we've got attached to this picture, there is quite a bit of plastic in there. <laughs> um, but they're heading to the 2017 Super Bowl to see their favourite footy player, Tom Brady, who is playing himself. It's a shenanigan film comedy, which I have no interest in. No, I'm not interested. I'm not the demographic for this, and I don't watch American No, it's football, not Angelus. So, no, it's not. So us. It's not. Um, it might be bringing in seats from the Oxygen local areas. nursing home. <laughs> but they might bust <laughs> yes. them in to watch it. No, I can't see it there. having... A big like NFLs is it NFL? I don't think that's uh, huge in in Australia. Like there is definitely a no, following, but it's not huge. Not with, so, and I would say not with the uh, senior female crowd in Australia either. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Uh, but anyway, it's so, not aimed at us, and I'm not aiming to see it. So no, neither am I. Oh God, next one. All right. Magic Mike's Last Dance. I'm I'm just saying no straight away. I haven't seen the other two. Don't care. No, I haven't. I wouldn't be able to follow this one because I haven't seen the first Magic Mike movies. Yeah. Is this is this Channing Tatum trying to like get some respectability back after his last few movies have bombed? He's like he put himself in quite a few movies in a very short time. Yeah, and well, I don't think any of them did very well. You've got to take the roles while they're offering them. Yeah, but yeah, I haven't seen the others. I'm not interested. February tenth, this one comes out. I'm sure there's lots of people that are. Yep, but the same. it's not aimed at us. It's not for me. <laughs> it's not aimed at us either. Um, all right, still February ten. This looks like it's in selected theaters and then Apple TV. So um, sharper. So not a lot about this one. Julianne Moore stars in this enigmatic drama about the secret. Sorry, the hidden secrets of New York City and the people who keep them. It's also got John Lithgow, Sebastian Stan, and the Justice League. Oh, sorry, Justice Smith. Um, I don't know who Justice Smith is, but I do like John Lithgow and Sebastian Stan's all right. The cast sounds good. The story sounds 
bland. They haven't given yeah. a lot away about it, but so that's not that hasn't that no that hasn't piqued my interest. No, not really. Oh, okay. So here's one I forgot about: Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania. I am actually looking forward to this one because I, unlike most people out there, really like the first Ant two Ant Man movies. I thought they were some of Marvel's better movies. I know they're not rated that way, but I really enjoyed them. Yeah. I didn't think Ant-Man, the first movie, was that great. The second one was all right. I liked him in the Avengers movies. Um, yeah. And I saw a different trailer to this. I went to Avatar 2 last night, and I saw a different yep. trailer to this one than the one that we reviewed. So it just uh, had a uh, few uh, different uh, different scenes in it. A few but, different yeah, dates. I, I mean, I'll probably go see it. I haven't been that impressed with Marvel since the last Avengers movie, apart from No Way Home. No way home, um, yeah. But this maybe this one might be. I just know, like I think Paul Rudd back to form. I think Paul Rudd sells this, and I think Michael Douglas just enjoys being in a movie where he can just take the piss a bit. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think they're good. I, I'll definitely go see this one. Um, uh, I think you know, the rough plot is that he meets Kang the Conqueror, who's going to be the new revealed as the new. Big baddie in and Bill Bill Murray was in the trailer that I saw last night. So that was okay. I, I don't sort care. of thought, oh yeah, I think I knew he was in it, but I yeah. yeah. I but so what is it? What'll be twenty twenty three moment too? Has it be five years since the last Ant Man? No, there's a big gap. Time goes quickly. Right. So the next one released on uh, February twenty fourth is. Cocaine Bear, <laughs> I do want to see this one. Like yeah, we reviewed yeah. the trailer, and this is a movie about, but loosely based on a true story about uh, a, a, some cocaine gets lost in uh, from a plane crash or something, and the bear finds it. In real life, the bear ingested it and died. In this one, they've got this bear high in cocaine Sorry, I'm not trying to get his the bear dying. I'm just laughing. Uh, trying to get his life um, to the trying to get his next hit and all this and all the people who get in his way who are killed in um, very, you know, more laughing, laughingly, what, sorry, increasingly absurd ways, I think. so. And it, looked I like, it did look like a lot of fun on the trailer, so if they do it well, yeah. I think it would be worth looking at. I think you'll be rooting for the, the bear to be killing off yeah. the demons more than the other way around, which is probably good. It's I Ray just... Liotta. I think it might be his last yeah. movie. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's just something. I, I'm not someone who um, you know, loves violence in real life, but there's sometimes there's something in the over the top, laughable humour that like it, it's absolutely done, not for thrills or for that torture porn stuff. It's done for a laugh, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. And it kind of works if it's done right. I'm not sure if I'd go to the movies to see it, but it would be it'd be definitely something I'd watch on streaming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now we're heading in, heading into March. Creed three. Now, I've never seen any of the Creed movies, and I haven't either. I, I to be been, honest, I didn't even know there was a Creed two. So that's they've been, apparently they've been know. quite quite well received. So they've been very quite good movies. Um, I know. I know. Definitely, the first one was yeah. really well received, and I think but, uh, Michael B. Jordan. I think he's yeah. a pretty good yeah. actor. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not really into boxing. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I don't. I didn't even really like Rocky when I saw it. Like 20 years after it being released, I was finally. I think I liked Rocky, it. but I just thought maybe because I'd seen so many things that had. If if Rocky was the original, and then so like later on down, you see a lot of other films based on that sort of premise, so you yeah. sort of know the story, and it's just not the same if you don't see it when it first comes out. Yeah, I guess I guess that's true. But I mean, if it's a if it's a good movie, it doesn't really matter what the subject's about. Like, it, if yeah. it keeps you interested. But yeah, I just haven't had any interest in watching them. Yep. Yeah. Oh, March the tenth. Scream six. Come on. When did they make four and five? Well, maybe they made that. four. They made one last. One came out last year, and I actually just had a look at it on a streaming the other day, and. I just skimmed through it basically. I just mm. skipped through because I just wasn't wasn't interested in it. And yeah, yeah I, I don't, 
I think Scream's had its day. It was very much a, a movie of its time, I think. I think you could have stopped at the first one, really. I mean, I know you, it, they're there to make money out of the franchise because it was so popular, but the first one was clever and, and poked fun at the actual teen horror genre thing, the, the ones where the teens are just indispensable. And it did it really well. Um, but then there's, I don't know. I, I, I think I saw number two. I don't, I've definitely seen nothing after two. But the thing is that, like, it did poke fun at the horror, but that was it was poking fun at like slasher movies, whereas slasher yeah. movies aren't really a thing very much anymore. Like, it's more no. paranormal and you know, possessed. Well, it's torture and porn, conjuring, torture and porn. stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I think we've gone a bit past torture porn now. I think it's oh, more I think it's that, still out there. like possessed um, nuns and things like that now. From what I, I see on like what's mm-hmm. coming out. I think I just like saying torture porn. Yeah, I think you do. Um, so that's March 10, Scream 6. Uh, oh, that's a no from me, just because I haven't been following the franchise. I'm not, and I don't care. After I don't care looking, anymore. I tried to give the last one a go and I didn't like it, so it's okay. a no yep. from me as well. So we're not doing really well with the how anticipated we are for a lot of these movies. March 17th. I won't be seeing it on the release date because it's St. Patrick's Day. Better things to do with my time. However, Shazam, Shazam, Fury of the Gods is being released. Shazam, starring Zachary Levi, who I've just been re-watching the Chuck series. I think I'm nearly finished season two. That's and a good now show. that I've now that I've been watching that, I just cannot see him in this role. <laughs> he just does not seem right. And I I might be one of the few people who didn't like the first one. I've seen the trailer for this one and it didn't do anything for me. And just looking at the picture with all the Shazam family there, I'm just like, no. I don't uh, think you're one of the only people that didn't like the, the first one. Like, I, I, thought it, I thought it got really good reviews about how it's it fun and DC is going well, the right way. That's, mm. It got touted as like a fun DC movie and this yeah. and that, but I didn't, I didn't like it at all. I did yeah. not enjoy it, and I have no interest in seeing the second one. Yeah, no, no from me for that one too. All right, further down in March, John Wick Chapter 4. Now, I might go out on a limb here and say this is going to be popular, but I I think the John Wick franchise has been a little done to death. There's only so much too many times you can see someone walking around shoot, perfectly shooting hundreds of people in the head with the one gun he's got and... You know he's going to get away. And it's just, no, I'm not excited for this one because you can, can see where it's going. The fact that four was happening and after the end of the last one, he jumped out a window and hit like four flights of uh, fire escape stairs and, and then landed on the ground and like dead. And then when they look out the window, he's gone. I'm just going, no, he's not a ghost. He's not I, a super happy hero. I've watched the first three. I don't really... Yeah remember that much about them. I couldn't really distinguish one from the other, to be honest. I There's sorts of movies that I can switch on. Mm. I can watch them. I quite enjoy them as I watch them, but then I just completely forget about them. So probably one night I'll stream this and be forgotten the next day. So I'll probably yeah. watch it, but I'm not going to rush out to the movies to see yeah. it. No, I'm not saying that people don't watch. I'm just saying, yeah, it may be the same as you. I might watch it as a curiosity, but... Again, I'll just forget it later on. And wasn't didn't we do that last year in our preview? Has this been delayed? Because I have a feeling that we did. I'd have to go back about last year. Yeah, well, in in our much you know, time on the tradition of doing no research at all, I didn't look at our last year's one. But um, no, I, I can't. I yeah, I'm, I'm not. Because I Maybe remember someone didn't. commenting on it. There's a few few people. I so said there's been a few movies that get, have been pushed back a bit. Yeah. All right, then we move to last day of March where Chris Pine playing a charming thief. What a surprise in the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. Um, and we did a trailer um, we did. review of this one. Justice Smith's looked. in this film too. Okay. Um, I can't say I'm overly looking forward to it. I never got into the game, so, uh, uh, again, it might be one that, 
No, no. I might have right, a look. Next one. No, no, just one. I might have a look at it uh, if it, you know, if it gets a bit of buzz around the town. But no. Then we're moving into April. We've got Super Mario Brothers, and we've talked about these in in some videos. We watched the teaser and then we watched the trailer, and we think it looks quite good, quite fun. I don't know if I'll go and see it, but um, you know, if I had to watch it, I don't think I'd be upset about it. I think it might might be our arm. I think this obviously the way that they're um, the way they've animated this. It's so uh, obviously very close to the game. Yeah, and they're actually trying they're getting trying to get that game feel to it. But it, from the from memory from the last trailer, it looked like they were just having a bit of fun with it as well. So it could be could be because uh, I think I've seen Sonic One, but I haven't seen number two. And I thought the first movie was just a bit of fun; didn't take itself too seri- seriously. This yeah. might be a bit the same. Yeah. I haven't seen the Sonic one. Mm. All right, April 7, Chevalier. All right. Um, the biopic. 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 A French Caribbean composer from the 18th century known as Black Mozart. All right. Uh, it's a period piece. Or oh, Marie Antoinette comes yeah. into it. I don't know. I can't go by that description. No. I'm saying no. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm boxing myself into I mean, you know, these small things here, and that doesn't fit in it. Renfield. Now this is Nicholas Cage, isn't it? This is the it is. isn't he something to do with Dracula? He is playing Dracula. Uh, it's April fourteenth. Okay. Yeah, I yep. just read about this today on Dark Horizons um, about Nicholas Cage's portrayal of um, Dracula. How he's going to be cracking it but um yeah it's a i think it's a horror comedy it's about renfield so i don't think nicholas cage is like the lead role or anything yeah. but well um, the, the final sentence on this little thing just say i must see fans of what we do in the shadows and i actually do enjoy what we do in the shadows so i might get that one a look that's the hook that got me in. yeah uh, well, they could say anything couldn't they really yeah, but i really. think i'd watch it just to see nicholas cage again probably yeah. not go see it at the cinema, but I might go and um, check it out on streaming. Yep. All right. So next goal wins comes out on April twenty one. This is the Taika Waititi follow up follow up film after Love and Thunder. Not related to Love and Thunder, but it's the next film that he did. Let's hope he Sports redeems comedy. himself. He might have to because Love and Thunder was in a mess. Michael Fassbender's in it. It's a soccer movie. Sorry, football. It's a soccer movie, and it's, it's a. It's I guess it's a coach like, who was tasked with turning the American Samoa national football team, considered the worst in the world, into a FIFA World Cup qualifier. So that's going to so be, it's one gonna be like, a feel feel good sports feel good. Yeah. movie with a bit of a Tiger twist. Yeah, hopefully a toned Tiger twist because he went all out in Thor and it didn't work. No, it did not work at all. Um, I, I do like a, um, I do like a feel good sports movie, but I don't like soccer, so I'm I'm torn. Ah, oh, another sequel, April twenty one, Evil Dead Rise, the fifth. I can think of three. There was a remake. Yeah, well, I guess that's what they they mean. It's the okay, the second one after the remake. I didn't see the remake. I've seen the original three. Um, yeah. Who's and the original three were Sam Raimi. Is Sam, is Sam Raimi directing it? Yeah, I think so. I don't Does know. He, he his didn't name direct there, the last one. Yeah. I mean, it could oh. be good. It might not be. I watched, um, what was it called? Ash vs. Evil Dead. That was. I watched a few episodes of it, but I lost interest in it. Yeah. I had some crazy stuff. I just sat there and thinking, how do they get away with this stuff these yeah. days? It could go either way. I didn't watch the – I thought it was a remake, but obviously it wasn't because if they're calling this one number five. Bruce Campbell makes a cameo. No, they're, ho- they're he hoping. cameo on the last one. They're hoping. That he's, I don't I know. Don't I'd have to see a true. trailer. I don't know anything about this. I uh, – no, I've never really been a fan of the franchise anyway, so no, that's a no from me. Yeah, I like the first one. I like the third one as well. The second one's basically a remake of the 
the first the first one. one, and then the third one just get, went completely left field. Yeah, I think they're quite good movies, but um, yeah, I didn't really want to see a reboot. That's um, why I didn't watch the last one. No, all right, next. Uh, hey, there, God, it's me, Margaret. Do you think this is aimed at us, Peter? This no. is based on a April twenty-eight, uh, a Judy Bloom book. A I do grade girl feel like I know that title, though. Yeah, no, I know that. I remember in high school, many, uh, many of the girls at my high school. That was a must-read book for them. Okay, my mum's name's Margaret. Okay, I hope it's not about her. No, I don't think it's about her. Uh, so now, it's probably something else that's not really our demographic yeah so yeah i like again that, that sort of stuff i'm saying don't people if you want to go see it this is what what we like and i don't want to go see that but if you Might want to go see great it, movie, see it but um yeah to now me, we're heading probably not something i would look at now we're heading to may the mother jennifer lopez uh, no <laughs> i don't care if it's a thriller well, she's playing a me. deadly assassin yeah because that's believable Oh, now this is something I am looking forward to. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Sorry, Volume 3 to be con completely precise with the way they do these. Fingers crossed it's good. Please be good. Yeah. I don't like number two was a disappointment. It wasn't terrible, but it was a disappointment after the fantastic number one. Uh, I hope Marvel don't ruin it. Yeah, I and I, I think the same. I think. I, I really enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy, and that was before the Star yeah. Wars sequels. And I remember sitting there thinking, this is the Star Wars we should have had. But the second yeah. one was still had good things about it, but it just didn't reach didn't the heights really, of the first No, one. it really didn't. And I think the, the biggest problem was they spent too much time with the, the team split up rather than working yeah. together. Um, and so I'm hoping a return to greatness in this one. I think... That this may be, and I only have a very faint um, understanding of the Guardians of the Galaxy comic books, but like it's like a rotating roster. Okay. So, so I'm gonna, I have a suspicion that they're gonna um, kill off a few of the characters in this one and introduce a new team, a bit like the Avengers. Okay. All right. But I will go see that. Yeah, I'll see that one absolutely. Then we're into May 19, Fast X. Now I'm going to go. That's supposed to be Fast Ten. Is that the tenth Fast? I have not seen yeah, one of these be. films. I've um, never seen it. It says the second to last instalment, but they're not going to finish it. If they, they won't, there'll be more. If they keep making, they, it makes ridiculous amounts of money. These this franchise, like crazy. Um, I've, I've seen, seen the first one. I didn't like it. I didn't see any. Of them until the last one. I got asked to mm. go see the last one, and it was just ridiculous. It was just over the top. Cars yeah, getting think... going over massive ravines with a little bit of rope that they've aimed with his front tire, and just mm. ridiculous, silly stuff. There's obviously a market for it. Uh, it was just it was too over the top and unbelievable for me. So I, yeah. unless I get dragged again, I'm not going to be going to Do see. You remember... fast X. Do you remember the Rise of Skywalker when um, when Kylo Ren was chasing down uh, Ray with his Tie Fighter, and she jumped in the air and cut it in half with her lightsaber, and it blew up into a million tiny, tiny pieces, and then he just walks out of the wreckage unharmed. I don't think yeah, I've seen over the top. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love over the top. I love it when it just pulls you completely out of a movie. Oh, um, this was just yeah. way over the top for me. Oh, and they actually went into space in a car too at one point. Um, <laughs> well, didn't James Bond do that? Yeah, but that was James Bond. Maybe, the, but that's what it is. The first, but from seeing the first one, which was a bit more of a people stealing cars, which I didn't actually like, but um, yeah. just people boosting cars Bur type thing. Glorifying robbery. And a cop and a, yeah. like a criminal becoming friends but having that tension or whatever. Going yeah. from that to strapping rockets to your car to go into space is it's a big stretch. So it's maybe it made sense yeah. if you've seen the ones in between. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe but it was, became... honestly, it was like uh, one of those movies where you, you just audibly go, "What?" So <laughs> what? Uh, maybe some of them became rocket scientists in between the first one and the last one. Must have. 
must have. All right, let's move on. So we're, we're saying no for that. Yeah, I don't. And that's that. that's because that's not what's something interesting. I'm us. definitely, I'm sure and I'm not putting down people that like those movies. That's if you like it, that's great. I'm that's fine, I celebrate yeah. people liking anything. I don't have to like everything you like, and you don't have to like everything I like. You have to like everything I like, though. Um, uh, May 26, we see The Little Mermaid being released. This is the live action adaptation. Uh, I saw the cartoon version years ago with my little yeah. kids at the time, and I found it enjoyable for, you know, how sometimes Disney could do that thing where they'd have some jokes in there for the adults because they knew that, the, and it was kind of enjoyable in that way. But yeah. I, I've got no desire to see it. I don't think I've seen any of the live action remakes of any nah. of the Disney stuff. Um, they've got the movies there. I don't. I mean, I know why they're doing it. They're doing it for money, yeah. but I don't think they can live up to the old classics that they've made. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. With it's, real people. It, I just. I don't think, think it makes it's just it better. A money make. I just think it's a cynical money making exercise. But I haven't seen any of this. I haven't seen a teaser trailer for it. Yeah, I, I just I haven't been looking, I guess. I just yeah. Nah. It just doesn't interest me. I don't like this trend of remaking these um classic animated like make remaking the Lion King for goodness sake. They're yeah. doing that. I just couldn't get that. Anyway, this one's got Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. That might work, but All right, this could be controversial. Spider Man across the Spider Verse. June two. June the second. I'm in. I, I like the first one. I thought it was really good. I'm a bit disappointed that this isn't just a standalone and it's going to be continued on, so it probably won't have an ending. But yeah. I really like the visuals of these. I thought the story was good in the last one, and, yeah, I just found it really entertaining, and I like the different animation styles. So, um, yeah, I'll go see this one. I liked the first one the first time I saw it and as a one-off. I actually thought the first time I saw it, it was like, oh, here's a Spider-Man movie that's packed a bit more emotional punch than a few of the others of recent times. I I don't know. I don't know if I'm just Spider-Man out. He wasn't like, for the time there, he was my favourite superhero, and I'm talking as a kid. Yeah. So to see him come alive on the big screen was a, was, a, was a thrill for me, but I don't know whether I'm just over it now and I'm like, I don't know if I just don't like Miles Morales. No, yeah, I thought he was good. Um, to me, you can never play. The trailer play. hasn't really given us much. No. Nah. Maybe, yeah, I, but I'm quite happy with that because I didn't know anything about the first one when I saw it. Yeah. So. I'm um, I'm a wait and see on this one. I'm like, yeah, I just, I don't know what it is. It just hasn't grabbed me at all. Yeah. Do Transformer. I'm on June 9. Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. I think I jumped off the Transformer trailer after number two. Yeah. There's been ones, have there been ones with knights in them or something like that? And no, I don't The know. picture I've got here, which looks like a metallic gorilla. It looks like a gorilla. Rise of the Beasts. Look, uh, I grew up with Transformers. Like, I really yeah, loved the toys and it, stuff yeah. growing up. You know, like yep. mum had to hunt around one Christmas to get Optimus Prime for me and it was like yep. sold out in stores. So I was really part of that big, you know, Transformer craze. I saw the first movie. I didn't really like it. Like there were some good bits in it. Um, yep. But it's not really the Transformers I grew up with. And I saw the second one, I think, that yeah, I, that I was don't really remember much about it. And I, was I haven't seen it. Yeah, I think so. But I haven't seen any. I just don't. It's just too busy it's, stuff flying it's too everywhere. Busy, you yeah. can't tell what's happening. Like you don't yeah. know what. There might be an action scene, but there's stuff just flying everywhere, and you don't know what what's going on. Like I, yeah. and which is really, there's not just a transformer problem. That's no, it's not a lot. Of, a lot of big budget CGI movies. There's not. They're just too. Your brain can't work out what's happening. Yeah, I'd really like to see a back to basic sort of transformer movie, to be honest. But I'd probably yeah. go see that. But I like one with a full five minute transformation scene from a truck just to the spine. More, like, you know, but you know, more believable. Like this, yeah. the, these movies, there's just so many tiny little bits flying around when they transform. Yeah. It's like, well, you can't even see what's happening. But yeah, not, not for me. So I'm, I'm going to say no. And I guess there's a fan base out there, but I, I like, I wasn't even like you. I didn't even grow up with Transformers. I'm 
slightly older than you and so i missed that was just be just just after me my cartoon viewing but nothing about transformers has ever really grabbed me and you're right too so just that whole half the time you can't tell what's going on on the screen yeah, you don't know what's going on um all right so we move on to elemental a new pixar movie and I thought it was we're going, we're going in for another. Just looking at the pictures I've seen, I don't think I've looked, watched any reviews, but I thought we're doing another. What was the one where and the kid was talking about the emotions all the time? The um, one that had in, Inside Out? Yeah, Inside Out. So I thought, oh, I've got another one of those. But having a read about this one, this is um, it's a rom-com set in okay. Elementary. Element City, where residents are made of air, water, fire, and land, and they all co-mingle, but they don't always connect. Will there be a moral at the end of this story? Will two of them fall in love but not be out of touch? You go see it and tell me. Yeah, I don't know. I think Pixar make pretty good movies. Um, Generally they do, yeah. No, well, good on them for keep churning them out. Good but family this would be fun. another. This would be. I'd have to see. I haven't seen the trailer. I'd have to see the trailer yeah. and and perhaps like look at reviews before I decided whether I'd see that or not. Yeah, well, it's yeah. It'll be a take or leave for me. Like I don't care if I see it. I won't. Like, if I won't be upset if I miss it, I won't go out I to go, go see sleep it. about yeah. it. No. All right, June thirtieth. The Day of Reckoning, <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, where we get to see old Indiana Jones. Oh, I'm just, I cannot tell you how much I'm not looking forward to this. Um, yeah, I, don't I, don't know, I don't know if I care either way with this one, to be honest. Like, if someone mm. said, let's go see the new Indiana Jones, I'd probably go. It didn't look too, too bad in the trailer no. i don't think he looks that old like i'm not looking at him well, i'm not expecting using... him to look like he did in the 80s um yeah but i, I think, think having the aging yeah maybe um but i think having i think it was more jarring seeing him in kingdom of the crystal skull but um yeah. he acted old in that too like he didn't do anything he just was more of a passenger in his own movie in that one yeah, then, yeah that, if um, he does more and, i don't know are they I gonna explain what I happens? Hope it's to... better than the last one. Are they gonna explain what happens to Marion? Because no, he can't still be married to her. Well, Didn't they end up married? They did at the end of the movie. Trading along with this one, or she's just gonna pack him his lunch and he can go off. Well, I mean, yeah. what are, are they gonna um explain what's happened to Mutt? Yes, they are. They are? They are. Is he gonna be in it? No, they just didn't explain what happened to him. That's okay. that's fact. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'd go see it. I don't know. If people want to go out and see it, I might go with them. So I I think there was a couple of things in Crystal Skull that really, really upset me. And one of them was the opening where normally you get uh, Indiana Jones film opening up with the sort of like a uh, the Paramount logo peak and it fades to some mysterious location. And this one, it, it was a gopher hole or something like that. And the, yeah. the whole... The whole start of it was just not in the same tone as all the other films. They screwed up the introduction of Indiana Jones. Um, the the nuking of the fridge, I won't go into it, but then I was thinking about uh, Temple of Doom where they escape the uh, they escape the crashing plane by getting into an inflatable raft yeah. like, you know, falling off a cliff into, into water. However, there's, there's kind of plausible deniability and then there's... Nah, just ridiculous. ridiculous. Well, if so. it takes you out when you're watching it, that's yeah. the difference, isn't it? So the yeah. fridge took took me out. But when I was a kid watching Temple of Doom, I just thought that was cool. And it's not yeah, the I lady you think, I think that would probably kill you. But um, <laughs> I can still watch it and go, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of, it's, but yeah, the fridge was yeah. just stupid. It was a nuclear yeah. explosion. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. Anyway, anyway so. Next, we come up to July 14 and a movie that I am actually looking forward to. I forgot about this too because it stars my favourite, Tom, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. And I, I think his Mission Impossible films, I still rate the first one higher than any of the other ones, but oh, they are wow. solid 
they are, they are solid action movies. I think they've improved since from three onwards. I think that's when the series got. Good. Oh, that's yeah. Number two was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. And we are in the but, process of recording reviews for <laughs> we are. Impossible movies and the lead up to into um, up to this. I've got Dead how much reckoning got being released. So we've got till July fourteenth. Okay, I got seven months there. That excellent. I should get it by then. But yeah, that's a that's a definite definite see at the scene. Yeah, I've seen me. the last well since three. I think I've seen. I actually think I've seen them all at the cinema now. I think yeah, I, I reckon I saw I have the first to, yeah. two. But I've definitely looked forward to seeing the the Mission Impossibles in the cinemas after yep. three. Barbie. Barbie. It could be a, a massive hit. I suspect it's going to be anyway. Just yeah. based on, on on the name Barbie alone, people want to go and have a look. And it might be one of these ones that does like um, 200 mil in the first weekend and then sort of peters out after, depending on, it could be good. But it looks like, like it looks bright and colourful. It looks like they've done a good job. I think Margot, Margot Robbie is um, probably a very good casting for, for Barbie. But it's probably not something I'm going to seek out or, or watch. Yeah, I don't think so. So this is Oppenheimer, Chris Nolan's star-studded biopic about how J. Robert Oppenheimer became the father of the atomic bomb. Now, and that's it. There's not much more to story to tell, is there? About how much of this is going to be made up for cinema? How much of this is going to be... Um, it looks like it's got a very good cast. Um, it's got a great cast, yeah. I don't know if it would be a fun night out, to be honest. Um, not not for a first date night or something like that. No, I mean, and you Christopher Noel is a very skilled director. Like, I think he's had some misses. Yeah. But, um, like, generally you're going to find an interesting movie. It's not going to be like a cookie-cutter yeah. movie you if you go some- into a... Christopher Nolan movie. Sorry, yeah. would you would you be surprised to hear that I'm not really interested in um, biopics or anything like that? <laughs> Biography no. movies. Um, when they're done well, they're good. But yeah, yeah, it's not something that I would probably go out and see. I might watch it on streaming, even though it's so, been shot with IMAX cameras. <laughs> I might watch it on my phone. Since I went to all the trouble <laughs> of filming it with IMAX yeah, cameras, I might. I'm going to watch it on my old Nokia 8110. Nah. Uh, oh, look, I'll see how I feel at the time. I think that's a movie you need to be in the mood to go see. All right, July 28, The Marvels. No, 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 no. So no. is this Captain Marvel 2? Yes, kind of. Okay, so I don't really know much about that at all. Well, apparently uh, she's teaming up with the TV version of Ms. Marvel. Okay. Which I which didn't I watched, watch. I watched two episodes of it and just went rubbish. Um, then Monica Rambo, she's something else. Was she in the first one? It deals with the fallout of WandaVision and Ms. Marvel. Don't care. I really don't care. No. no. I don't know. It might be good. but No. I don't know right. the Marvel's story. Or... I don't know it either, but uh, who cares? Next. All right. Now, that's a big skip from July to October. Um, yeah. Untitled Exorcist film. All right. I think that's just in there because they threw it out there saying something might be coming out. Well, it's, uh, like it's being revised by the people that um, – revived by the people that did the Halloween uh, franchise. So. Which I didn't read a lot of positive stuff about that. but No. Uh, anyway, I haven't seen so, an, I haven't seen any Exorcist movies. I do like horror movies, but I don't. Mm. I'm not interested in possessed demon oh. type horror movies at all. I I saw the it's first one. Thing. Well, yeah, I saw the first one, and I wasn't allowed to watch that until like I was an adult. But with, with everything I'd heard about it, it just seemed it didn't scare me as much as I expect. You know, I probably went in with too much expectation. There's but there's not enough on this film to for me to even make a comment on this. June part two. Still haven't seen June part one. This is in November. Okay, um, I I have seen June part one. I really enjoyed it, and I will go see June part two. I'm need to go see June part one first, and then yep. All right, so yeah, probably go see it. Leave it at that. 
November 17, Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I found the Hunger Games books to be the most depressing series of books I've ever read. I hated the movies just because I just don't like the theme of trying to kill off kids like that. It's, there's no... It was just unrelentingly morose and... It was yeah, not, have, not not the sort of movies you go take your uh, take your first date on. No. So um, this looks like it's a prequel. I never read the books. I think I've I think I've seen all the movies. That was another one where they did yeah. uh, part one, part two, for no reason. Um, please, please don't tell me they're going to try and make the bad guy in the movies like a sympathetic character in this one. As in, it's his backstory. 64 years before Katniss ever yeah. did volunteered as a tribute. They are. It's not something I'll probably seek out to watch. No, nah, I just don't like it at all. I don't like it. And speaking of things I probably won't <laughs> seek out and prequels. Uh, Wonka, yes. Um, it's just another Timothy Chalamet movie. He's, he's in and out of the park at the moment as well. So we're going back to Wonka as a teen who just wants to share his candy creations with the world. No. How does the Dahl estate like, let that sort of thing go through? Because like, whoever with the green lit this probably was like, oh, you know how the, um, the Wizard of Oz prequel did so well? With James Franco, let's do it for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, I've got a suitcase full of money. Okay, sold. The only thing that's any appeal for me is Olivia Coleman's in it, and she's good quality, but... That's I a musical as well. I do not see the need for that at all. Oh, Hollywood does, because money... Because it's a um, known brand, yeah, and they can tie in with a chocolate company. And uh, color purple, no, and it's so, a musical adaptation. Yeah, I don't. I'm very surprised that. that yeah. First, I just thought it was a remake, which I was very surprised at because I thought the first one was a very acclaimed movie, and yeah. that's the sort of thing that you would remake. But then the extra surprise is it's going to be a musical. Well, it's, so, it's already a Broadway musical, so this is just the adaptation. It seems like an odd subject matter for a musical, but anyway, I didn't see the I didn't see the first movie because maybe I was too young when that first came out. And it didn't interest me, and it still doesn't now. Maybe I like it. Yeah, maybe I'd go and see it and go <gasps> mind blown. But no, I'm too old, and grumpy now. I'm set in my ways. All right, Christmas Day next year, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This is probably the last of the original DC's original superheroes. I think they're going through a big change at the moment. Um, uh, I kind of liked the first Aquaman. I didn't think it was terrible. And then until it got to the big CGI battle at the end, there were good parts in it. But I've kind of lost interest now because now I know that DC's kind of, I don't know where they're going. I think no. they're just going to reboot a whole stack of stuff so it kind of just doesn't matter anymore no i haven't seen many of the dc movies i haven't seen aquaman um i haven't I was, liked what i've seen of the dc movies well i would say i was a dc kid growing up and i read dc way over uh marvel but um, i have to grudgingly say that marvel have treated uh, up to whatever phase they're up to now, up till then, have treated their property way better than DC ever have with theirs. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, DC, DC have got great characters and stuff. They just haven't done very well with them. Well, they haven't done anything with them. They've just been pathetic. So I'll, I'll just go and see it just out of um, loyalty. I'm doing my duty here. Um uh, they're saying Batman's going to be in it. And it's going to be Ben Affleck as Batman. But see, that's the thing. Eh? I could go on and on about you know, what they did, how they screwed Henry Cavill over and whatever. But, eh. Is um, Amber Heard going to be in it? I think her part's been reduced quite significantly. 
that's the list of um, movies with release dates, and then there's a few that uh, have t TBAs next to them. There's not a lot of detail about them, so it's going to be really hard to make an informed decision. So the first one's Bo is Afraid. Um, That's from got the Wok Midsummer Wok guy. Yeah, uh, um, mm. Phoenix. Uh, a four-hour nightmare comedy. Oh, wow. Uh, That's a long movie. Yeah, maybe it's on streaming. So, yeah, whatever. And, and his men. When I saw this, I thought it said Enfy's Nest. I thought it was a solo spin-off. <laughs> a folk horror film set in the 70s. Uh, wildlife volunteer who goes mad while patrolling a remote island off the British coast. Uh, uh, maybe. Could be all right. Golda. Golda Horn. Oh, no. It's Golda. How Mirren. Oh, sorry. I apologise. This was a trivia question I didn't know. She's playing Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir. I, couldn't, I didn't know the name of their first female Prime Minister. And there it is. Oh, okay. It's a thriller. No, I didn't know it either. Yeah. Uh, a David Fincher movie called The Killer coming out. I don't think I'm a fan of David Fincher. Tell me something else he's done. Uh, seven. Oh, no, that was... Some horribly depressing movie oh it's a good movie though um what yeah. else has he done Let, he's done lots of movies all right leave the world behind all right this is for netflix um black family who find themselves unexpectedly staying at their summer cottage with the white family they rented it to uh things starting to get weird a thriller could be all right Legally Bronze 3, I'm pretty sure that was on our last year's list. Yeah, I think so too. To get, to get released this year. So either they had to stop filming or it's crap. Uh, about, Maestro. About Bradley Leonard Cooper. Bernstein. And he's written, directing stars about Leonard Bernstein. Well, he did about, a star is born, didn't he? About the composer. I might actually go see that one. Um, yeah. Max Triple Xine. Oh, oh, Vin Diesel this? movie. No, I think it's. I think go, go just reading what I am. So they this is about the actor and director who have become a prolific pair. They first teamed up for the 2021 slasher film X, in which Goth's amateur porn star Maxine becomes the only survivor of a bloody massacre. I think this may follow that. Oh, it's a sequel. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's Triple X, Maxine, and it's... Uh, Night Beep. <laughs> Night Bitch. I'm going to have to say it because it's in the title. Um, Amy Adams. Uh, deranged fairy tale about a stay-at-home mom who sometimes turns into a dog. Okay. Yep. Rebel Moon. Okay, this is Zack Snyder, isn't it? That's, uh, this is his uh, failed Star Wars project. This is a faux Star Wars because he was going to direct a Star Wars movie, wasn't he? And yeah. I think it was this one, but oh, it may not have had this title. Probably would have. So they may have to, to that. They might have to delete all the Star Wars references to it and you know, maybe come up with something more original. I actually don't mind Zack Snyder film saying... So. Yeah, some are okay. That, that could be good. And the last one, showing up. Uh, what's this? Certain women uh, follow up from 2000. Uh, Williams plays an artist on the verge of a career-spanning exhibition. It's an indie comedy to be quietly... Expect this indie comedy to be quietly devastating. Mm. That's the sort of movie I don't know if I go to a comedy to be devastated. Yeah, I... I yeah. No. All right, so there you have it. 2023 in a nutshell, and what a nutshell it was. Yeah, well, there might be some good ones there, and that's not, of course, an exhaustive list. There must be other movies coming out too. No, no these are the most no. anticipated, so there will be other movies coming out. The most anticipated by Time magazine. Yeah. Thanks, Time. Thanks, Time. Sorry. Thanks for watching the Superpower Dare Die Team. Yeah, if you uh, enjoy our videos, please remember to like and subscribe. And please, we really appreciate comments in the comments section. So uh, leave a comment if you feel that that's the way you want to go. And if you click on the bell, you'll never miss an episode.